When you think of Thanksgiving, what probably comes to mind is turkey stuffing, pumpkin pie, and in plenty of on Thanksgiving morning while the turkey is roasting, the annual Macy's Day Parade is on TV. One group of dancers from Maine will not be watching like the rest of us probably will be because they will be right in the middle of Herald Square that morning. 207's Peggy Kaiser has their story. Crazy. I, I, I was so surprised when I was invited. I was like, really me? <laughs> so it was, it was just so crazy. I still can't believe it. Jada Son is a senior at Massabesic High School and a dancer. In about 10 days, she, along with 19 other dancers from Druin Dance Center in Westbrook, will be part of the 95th Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. How's that feel? Nerve-wracking. <laughs> Very nerve-wracking. But at least like I'll have other people like here that will like feel the same way. The road to this starts with lots of hard work and practice right here in one of the studios at Druin's. Danielle Druin is the owner and director of the dance studio. At the end of this week, she'll travel with her dancers to New York City as they prep to be part of this huge event. They hit the Big Apple the week before the parade. They rehearse the minute we get to New York City all the way through Thursday. The first invitation for Druin's Dance Center to participate in the big event came 10 years ago, and this will be the studio's fourth appearance. Dancers were supposed to take part in last year's parade, but COVID restrictions kept most performing groups home. This year's invitation just barely came in, and Druin's dance troupe has been preparing ever since. So we get the choreography, which we are rehearsing today. Three, hit, four, head, five, hold, six. There'll be formation changes. Um, there's three different colors of costumes in this year's parade, so they'll change formation based on the color of their costume. Um, and it's all, it's like a mashup of songs, but all dancing the entire time. The girls and dancers from all over the country learn the specific parade routine at home and then join to put it all together just ahead of the big show. Saturday night, they go right into rehearsal with all 500 dancers. The parade route is about two and a half miles. It starts at Central Park West around West 77th Street at about 4 o'clock in the morning. It's much colder at 4 a.m. in the dark than it is 9 o'clock for parade time. So they're fully prepared. Then they walk the route all the way to Herald Square. And that's when they perform for the television cameras. About, I would say, over an hour or more of just walking and smiling and waving along the parade route and then and trying to, trying to keep warm. They're just trying to time the performance for TV and then they get to, they time to get to Herald Square and then they run into place and they perform and then they run off and they get on the subway and head back to the hotel and that's it. <laughs> Brooke Chasen, a senior at Portland High, will be one of the dancers on the trip and has been dancing since she was four years old. This is a once in a lifetime experience. It was something that you looked forward to years leading up to. I mean, like I, I remember being little and like watching the girls in past years go and just wanting to do it. It's gonna be really challenging. I mean, right now we're in the studio and we just have, we, we don't have too, too much room to do it like crazy full out, um, but to go, to go down into New York and have to like incorporate so many other dancers in it, it's gonna be crazy. Crazy indeed. Danielle expects that about 60 folks will make the trip as family members travel along with the dancers. The girls all raise the money to fund their trip. It costs nearly $500 per dancer for the week to cover things like hotels, meals, and costumes. But all the hard work, completely worth it. It's really heartwarming almost mm. like you know to represent not even just our studio but like you know the state my school I'm very excited to meet like all the different dancers and like getting to like see like, other people and like what they've been taught at their studio and just like the different like ways we've all been taught it's so great to watch them have this experience and to enjoy every moment of the parade and, and the process and and you know, so many People have never seen it in person, and so to be able to say that they performed in it is just amazing. Okay, so you've seen some faces now, so when you're watching the parade on Thanksgiving morning, just keep an eye out for the dancers from Druin Dance Center in Westbrook.